Hi, this is Nick from Digital Yard Cell, and I'm here today with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make these brushed aluminum uh, buttons. They're great for social media icons or control buttons for video players or music players or whatever. So let's get started. Let's open a new file. Um, 400 by 400 pixels. I'm going to fill this with any color you want really. I'm just going to choose a green here. Alright. So now I want to go to my custom shape tool. Actually not custom, sorry. Ellipse tool. Uh, I'm going to change it to a white color for my foreground color. I'm going to go up here. Sorry. I'm going to go up here and choose fixed size of 200 by 200 pixels. I'm going to click so now I have this circle 200 by 200. Let's rename this button. I'm going to go to my effects, bevel and emboss. Let's do a pillow emboss at 90% for the depth, one pixel for the size. Set highlight mode to color dodge at 40% and shadow mode, leave it at multiply for 20%. Now let's go to gradient overlay, let's, uh, make our gradient black to white, reversed and reflected with an angle of 55. Let's change the scale to 150 and click OK. So now already you can see we have this nice inset uh, metal button, um, but we need to add some of that brushing for the aluminum. So let's make a new layer. I'm going to hold down command or control if you're on a PC and click this uh, vector layer mask. So that gives me the selection of this circle. I want to hit M to get my marquee tool. Right click, transform selection. I'm going to hold option and shift and drag out from the center. I just want the selection to be larger than the button. I'm going to fill this new layer with white. I'm going to go to filter, noise, add noise. I'm going to add 40% uniform monochromatic. Click OK. Keep it selected. Filter, blur, radial blur. I want to spin at 100 and the best quality. Click OK. Now you can hit Command D to deselect. I want to duplicate this layer. Command J. Option Shift M to multiply and set it at about 40%. Now I want to merge these two layers. You can hit just command E to merge them or you can select both of them uh, and right click to merge. I'm going to rename this brushing. I'm going to set it to multiply option shift M. I'm going to hold down command and click my vector layer mask one more time and with my brushing layer selected hit add layer mask. So that's going to automatically mask to that selection. Okay so we have this nice brushing going on. Let's add a new layer. I'm going to select my polygon lasso tool and I'm going to make some uh, shadows and highlights here. So just click and make some rays coming out from that center. And if you hold down shift, you can uh, add new selections without deleting the old ones. So just do that and get them, try to make them look somewhat random. Alright, so now I'm going to select a nice kind of dark gray. Click OK. I'm going to fill this selection on my new layer. Make sure you're on your new layer with that. Command D to deselect. Now you want to make sure that these points are kind of in the center where that circle is. I'm going to hit my marquee tool, my rectangle marquee. I'm going to draw a square around this. Try to get it as centered as possible. I'm going to go to filter, blur, radio blur, zoom at 100 at best quality. Click OK. Keep it selected. Filter, blur, radio blur, spin at 20 for the best quality. All right, now hit Command D to deselect. Option Shift M to multiply. And let's change the opacity to about 25%. All right, and I'm just going to hold Option 
Well, first let's let's create the highlights first. Let's name this shadow. Now I'm gonna duplicate this layer. Command J. I'm going to make sure white is my foreground color and hold Option Shift Delete, and that'll change this to white. I'm gonna hit Command T to transform. Rotate that. Excuse me, you can't see it right now. Let's hit Option Shift S to change it to screen mode. Now you can see it. So now you can see these highlights. And we want to get them <coughs> rotated around this a little. Just do whatever looks best to you. That looks about right. So let's do that. All right, so now I have those two, and I'm going to hold Option, and I'm going to duplicate this layer mask by dragging up to this other one and I'm going to hold option again and duplicate it again. So now both of those or now all three of these actually have the exact same layer mask. So now let's create the shape that's going to go on top that's going to contain the light. So I'm going to go over here to my shape tool again and choose polygon. I'm going to change the sides to three. I'm going to make sure my foreground is white. I'm going to hold shift and draw a nice triangle here. Just try to get it as centered as you can. And with that selected, let's go to my effects panel, bevel and emboss. We want to do a pillow emboss at 90% with a size of 1. Leave the highlight mode at screen, opacity 40, and shadow mode opacity at 20. Now let's go to inner shadow. Let's do the opacity at... Mm, 30. Let's change this color to a kind of a medium light gray. Now let's do distance 5, size 10. And let's do the outer glow. Let's change this color to white. And we want to do the solid, not the gradient. Um, let's change the opacity to 43. And the size to about 30 pixels. And click that's about it let's click OK alright so now you can see that gives that a nice glow this outer glow does the shadow kinda gives it some division and makes it gives it a nice vignette around that light and the bevel and emboss makes it look like it's impressed into this metal so now the great thing is I can create any shape I want let's create a rounded rectangle so maybe I want a stop button that's kind of rounded like this. Um, I can hold Option and drag this effects up to that. And now, all of a sudden, I've got this this button in, with the exact same effects as the other one. So now I can resize this as I please and just recenter it. And that it also goes for uh, social media buttons. So, I mean, if you have a Twitter icon or something, you can drag it in there and just drag the effects layer right over it. Um, pretty much any shape. So, that's it. Pretty simple. Um, when you get ready to use it, just flatten it right up. And there you go. And this has been another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Thank you.